Hi YouTube! I feel like I look like shit because like no lashes and everything. We're going to film a drunk makeup tutorial or just like a makeup look, I guess. I we have it tastes like shot number one. Let's go. <laughs> go! <There's... laughs> oh, it's actually really good. Hi everyone! So like I said, I'm here with Megan. Hi. We're gonna be doing our like night look. This is our day look, night look makeup routine. Mm -hmm. We're just gonna get right in. We're gonna do some little chit chat, some gossip. Mm -hmm. She's actually leaving me tomorrow to go to Illinois because she hates me. So I'm gonna be depressed um, the next five days. You're gonna be depressed the next five days. Great. I'm <laughs> Great. Make me, feel, make me feel depressed when I travel too. <laughs> <laughs> I just <kidding. laughs> Cheers. I have energy now. I was kind of like boring when I got here. I was kind of like, yeah, oh my god, it's like me or whatever. And then, and now I'm like, okay, I'm ready to party. I'm ready to fucking rage. I'm ready to get drunk and I'm ready to get laid. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. I have not. Cheers. <laughs> so basically, I met Megan when we were in high school, our sophomore year. She's actually already been on my channel a few times. Um, that was like back in the day though. When first the one was um, <laughs> <laughs> there were some pretty embarrassing videos. Yeah. So. I had to take those down because Glass it's gone. <laughs> I cannot have myself be looking like that, you know what I mean? It's a mess. So basically, we played golf together growing up. We've obviously stayed friends throughout the years. We definitely have gotten closest this year, I would say. I think so, yeah. Yeah, for sure. I think my favorite memory of me and Megan has to be like, I mean, all the ones recently because she's like partying with me. And we're like, I'm like normal now, so I'm like controllable and like fun to talk to, I feel like now. I feel like we like really evened out. Yeah, like yeah. <laughs> she's crazy now and I'm like normal, so it like really worked out. We went to um, Big Bear and it was your first- Oh my god, yeah! <laughs> okay, no, that is my favorite memory. It was her first time snowboarding, she came big with my family and we were there and I was like, oh my god, it's gonna be so easy, like don't worry about it. I grew up snowboarding and skiing, like oh for god. me, I was like, it's gonna be like easy, like don't even worry about it and for her, it's like, it's like face flat, <laughs> face flat. I take you down with me. I'm like, she's like, she's like holding on to me, and I'm like, get off of me! I'm like, I'm like don't, I don't want to fall, dude. And that was my first time, not my first time on a lift, but yeah. my first time like, like uh, actually being snowboarding, snowboarding, yeah. yeah, on a lift. And so the first time, um, when I tried to get off the lift when we were at the top, uh. They had to stop the lift for me because I totally face planted and did splits. <laughs> she like couldn't get off the lift. And I was like, Megan, like. She's and like, just jump off. Just jump <laughs> off. And I was like, I can't. I'm like, like, you don't know how to snowboard? I'm like, how do you not know how to snowboard? The first time going down, it took us two hours. No, it took you two hours. You dragged me out for two hours. Oh yeah, you were waiting for me. I was like, where the fuck is this girl? I like what? I would stand up and literally sit right down. So it was like stand up, sit down, all the way down the hill. Yeah, it was it was a mess. I must say. I think we're too sober, so we'll take another shot. Mhm. Mm okay. Okay. Shot number Cheers. four. For me, my favorite wow. quality in a guy is definitely. How much they can like he can make me laugh and like my favorite physical feature would have to be a jawline or arms. So are you like into me? I have big arms and pretty decent jawline. You have big arms. Oh sorry, no, they're not big enough. <laughs> <laughs> um I definitely think my favorite quality physically in a guy has to be like their smile. I like looking for in a guy, like not physically, is like um Anything they can do for me, like acts of service wise. Mm -hmm. Like if I feel like they really like me, I feel like they're like really devoted to me and will do so, anything for me. So what do you think your like love language is? It's acts of service. Yeah. For sure, yeah. Next is definitely buying gifts. <laughs> I don't want to talk about that. I'm like one brush kind of girl. I'll do one I'll use one brush my entire like look. And you can tell I'm not a one brush girl. I like she's more <laughs> I'm just kinda like I need one brush and four different palettes and like I'm G2G -G good to go, you know what I mean? G2G. -G. <laughs> but like I'm not like bad. I you think I'm funny. like pretty decently funny. You are. Eyeshadow and <gasps> You know what? I'm gonna just fucking have to contour purple of my nose. Oh. 
We're gonna that make works. them that work. out of it. I'm gonna have a purple nose, but I'll be really euphoria. You know what? I'm gonna go for Avatar actually now. <laughs> We're changing it up again. <laughs> I'm gonna go for Avatar. It'll be like a new look. Like I'm not like fine to go anywhere unless like I unless we do. <laughs> I feel like we're not, so yeah. But um, well, then again, Jane almost dragged me out drinking at her house when we were in our PJs. <laughs> Maybe when was this? Recently, your sushi thing. You were like, Are you going to K Town? Are you going to K Town? Oh fuck, wow, I really forgot about that. Yeah. I mean, I don't think we're gonna be able to get to K Town if we don't want to go. No, because we're gonna be drunk. <laughs> Okay, I'm just gonna have to go with like this purple contour because I really like it looks good though I, There's like I can't do anything about it. <laughs> it's green not purple. Oh my god. Wait, what? It's green and gray <laughs> Okay, I'm kind of crying <laughs> I'm honestly just like drunk now. So I don't even like Let's do another shot. Yeah, let's do it. Let's, let's, do another wait, one. let's order food real quick <laughs> Oh my god, it's not, this wasn't even my fault, it's because I kept flying. Oh my god, I look hideous. You look, you look less hideous. Oh my god. Okay. okay. <laughs> um, I never took shots until I met Jane. Um, he oh took really? me to Mama Lion after all that shit happened in September. Oh my god. Um, it was like my first time going out after a guy. And then she had me on tequila shots, and I never take shots. Everything at this point. And since then, it's only been tequila shots when we go out. <laughs> what is like your favorite guy that I've talked to, and then um, like what is like your opinions on the guys How about that? Um, Honestly, my favorite, favorite, favorite. I don't think you're gonna like the answer. I'll bleep it out because I don't want anyone. <laughs> oh, really? He was so sweet, but I was like. Even though you're mean to him. <laughs> Let's be real. I was like 16, dude. I was like- I know, but he was- the way he treated you was like so nice. Do you know he that- He was okay, so young, I didn't tell why. you this. When you guys broke up, I was going off to college, right? And he called me. He was crying. He's like, I don't think I'm ever going to find another girl like her. Woman was too stunned to speak. Um, he tried Snapchatting me when I was a senior in college, like senior in high school. Mm -hmm. That's that's when you went off to college probably. Mm -hmm. He Snapchatted me and he's just talking to me about like normal stuff. Like and then okay, his yeah. girlfriend found out he was messaging <gasps> me. Oh shit, I did not um, know this. But like I had no intention with my ex. Like he's like a nice guy, honestly, he really is, and he's super sweet. He's like my first love, whatever. Um so I just like no like platonic energy, but there is platonic energy I would say. Um I also had a boyfriend at this time so like him and I talking like meant nothing. Yeah. Okay. Um, but then he messaged me and just like talking about random stuff like out of nowhere and then his girlfriend found out she showed up to my work because I was working oh, part time. Shit. She shows up and then like she's like really nice to me though in person. She's just like, Oh hi, like just wanted to like visit you or whatever. Like me and her, like we're not close, right? So I was like, okay, that's whatever. But then her friend who worked with me at the restaurant was like, yeah, she's gonna come here, she's gonna beat your ass apparently, she came here to fight you, but like, she came here and then I guess like, her, she changed her mind, <laughs> She pussied out when she saw you, that's the bitch face, right? Yeah, I, your I, caption I, for your Instagram is the bitch face, <laughs> no one. Yeah, I used to be kind of notorious for being a bitch back then, um, I'm not anymore, but I was kind of depressed back then, so I was kind of mean, but anyway, but yeah, so that must have been the same timing. Cause he called me and he oh was like, God. he was crying. He's like, oh my god! I don't think I'm gonna cry. He's like, no, he's honestly he's a nice guy. Yeah, he was. He was yeah, a, yeah. I I did him dirty. I definitely broke up with him out of nowhere. You're like, my least favorite. You know who my least favorite of yours is? Fuck, really? I do. Oh, wow. That's everyone's least favorite, but he might be my favorite. <laughs> but that's because of your love language, like. Honestly, it's I'm, just he he got your love language. It's all about love language, I think. <laughs> Yes. Okay, honestly though, all my ex-boyfriends were pretty nice guys. Like, if you guys are watching this, I don't know if you are, but they're all actually really good to me. I don't think any of them were really, like, bad to me. Um. Some of them, I must say, has gave me some issues in life, but for the majority of guys I've dated, they've all been really nice to me. <laughs> if we're talking about you now, um... Honestly, I don't like any of them because like all of them don't have very good stories to them. And two of them have the same last name. Like 
Yeah, none of them. I have. I, I've had bad experiences with all of them. Actually. I've only had like one boyfriend, right? His last name was the other guy who almost became a relationship. Last name was. And, um, at first he wanted to meet Jane, but he had ulterior. Good one, buddy. <laughs> he had ulterior motives, though. He wanted to meet Jane for business reasons and like get shit out of her. And, and I, so I said, like, uh, I said no. no. And he's yeah. like, oh, that's not what I meant. Like, I just want to meet her because she's your close friend. And I was like, no, not after you told me that. And then you like Jane's a born bitch. Her time is And valuable. then I told Jane, I told him like Jane doesn't even want to meet you anymore. Yeah. And then he snapped back. He was like. Oh, I didn't want to meet her anyway. Because like there's so many bad stories to this guy and like regardless, I already saw so many red flags from And like, like I asked like what what made you hate him so much and you're like cuz he made me cry a lot. Yeah, like he made I don't me cry a lot. <laughs> I don't appreciate that in men. Like I literally trusted him enough to think like you know what, maybe he like likes this guy like I'll like be nice to him. And then he like pulls some weird shit and I'm like, dude, like me he that he didn't even do it to his ex-girlfriends by the way and I wasn't even his girlfriend. Yeah. I was brought to this world to to be a tomato. Here, you should have more yeah. because you put more. <laughs> we'll just oh, we'll just. Oh my god! Okay, yeah. Cool. I'll <laughs> I'm a makeup artist. I'm a beauty guru. I'm going guru. To, <laughs> I'm a beauty guru. I'm gonna make myself beautiful. I didn't put enough. Sure I would I honestly put blush on for my makeup look going out, but. Right now, I have enough blush. It's called Natural Asian Glow. Um, so, I, I don't need it. Yeah. I love blush, but whenever I go out with Jane, I never put blush on because... You shouldn't. Exhibit A. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's enough powder for me. Okay. I need to figure out how I'm going to do this. Okay. <laughs> you got it, dude. Oh, so crazy. Um, what are you talking about? <laughs> Can you tell them? Here. I don't even know where to start. Like, it's just, from start to finish, it was red flags, and I caught on really fast, but apparently a lot of other girls who was talking to this dude did not catch on. Yeah. A lot of, that's exhibit, a lot of girls. He, after the first hangout, we only hung out for like, what, an hour? And he was like, I'm really into you. And then he would use heart emojis when we text, and then he also called me babe after like the second time we hung out. A week in, he sent me... A photo of him Black Friday shopping and I don't ever do anything crazy. Jane knows me, I'm not toxic, but I just wanted to push this boy's boundaries because I was bored. I saw a picture of someone standing next to him with like a ring. I'll send it to Jane. Jane can put it in if she wants. Cool. Um, <laughs> and then I screenshotted it and I went to his ex's Insta and I went through the story highlights and I screenshotted a picture. I sent it to him. I was like, this is the exact same. And I saw your flannel sleeve on her story. Um, you guys went out together. You told me you were with a homie. And he was like, oh, it's not what you think. Like, you know what they're going to say. I gave him the benefit of the doubt. He looked really sweet. He looked really nice. Come to find out, he asked girls things, things all the time. And one chick sent him $15,000 within a week of knowing him. Another girl sent him $1,000 within a week of knowing him. It all blew up in his face. And then... Um, he also stole her fucking credit card. Like, he yeah, like, when we were sleeping this one time, where he must have taken a picture of my credit card because I didn't give him money like other girls did, and so he had to get he had to get car things for his car somehow, right? I realized a couple days later, and then I never confronted him, but I did call him and I asked like, oh, do you know? Do you think maybe it was like this yard house dude or whatever? I knew it was him, and it was like confirmed afterwards. One day it all blew up when one of the girls reached out to me, and then the ex also reached out to me, but then the ex is also a crazy bitch. We're not going to get into that, though. She's 31, he's 21. She has her issues. She loves taking care of him. And I love the guys is not good, so this is why I don't like any of them. Yeah, but that's why I don't like any of her guys, because they all literally suck. I've kind of given up on it, but I think it'll come together. Is this a new ABG look? <laughs> is this a new ABG look? I'm super excited. Are we gonna set a trend? I'm oh my god, we're gonna set a trend? Oh my god, I love that. We've also ordered food, um, because I'm hungry. You know, we're not like starving bitches anymore. We're drunk and hungry. Yes, 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 drunk and hungry. And what better to eat uh, Korean drunk food when you're drunk? 
Dude, honestly, yeah. I mean, she's Chinese, but she's basically born Korean because she hangs out with me. You know what I must say? Whenever I get drunk, though, I always want, like, a male companion with me. Like, I love your company, and, like, obviously I like it so much because I always hang out with you, but, like, definitely having some guy companionship is, like, it's different. It's, like, I just, like, want them to sit here and, like, talk to us. <laughs> yeah. Also, I was going to date today. Oh shit! Yeah, I was going to do a date today with my um this girl's bro the girl's brother. Oh, oh but yeah. I agreed to go on the date at first, but I just didn't reply anymore after two days ago because I don't know. I'm just he's not really my type. I don't really have a type, but like I just don't know him enough, and I just don't know him like his sister that well either. So I just stopped replying. Kind of ghosted him, but um. You don't owe him anything. I don't owe him anything. I don't even know him that well, yeah. so. Cheers! Cheers! This is her favorite wine, apparently. It's Casa, I can't even say it. It's Casa de Fruta. Okay, let's put this look on. Dude, you guys, my eyes got smaller. Um, not in a racist way or anything, but because like I have pretty decently big eyes for an Asian girl. We both do. Yeah, but after I got Botox, we <laughs> which we did together too. Um, my eyes got smaller because I think my face is like stretched out, and now my eyes like I have no crease almost. Mm -hmm. So this makeup look wasn't so bad. I mean, it was kind of scary in the beginning. I have way too much glitter on my face. I highlighted everything. <laughs> Put on lashes and eyeliner, and everything gets fixed. Honestly, line eyeliner is what does the trick. Honestly, we should go out. What time is flight tomorrow? 6.52? Maybe we should go out. I'll figure this out. <laughs> We're gonna go out because I wanna go out, okay? Don't judge me. I mean, what did I say, you guys? What did I say? <laughs> <laughs> I don't see what the big deal is. Like, fuck. I met this guy that he was talking to. He's kind of old. He's like in his 40s. <laughs> but I took Megan to his house a few days ago. <laughs> and he, oh my god. <laughs> I met him when I was like 19. He was like not even 40 yet. But anyway, like we're still talking. Like we're just still friends now. But I took her to his house because this is a really nice place. And we we're hanging out there. We we're drinking wine. And the fucking fire alarm went off two days ago. And he swore to us. He was like, like don't worry, girls. Like... This alarm always goes off at the Ritz. Like he wanted us to just stay. He's in like, place, he's like, just stay, wine, like chill, eat pie. Off. Yeah, <laughs> drink your wine, eat pie, and then like the fire alarm wouldn't stop, and like I could smell like fucking fire, like little we flame. smelled smoke, and he was like, what? I'm just letting it. Go. Yeah, like, and then I after he smelled it, he's like, oh, it's okay, we can stay inside. Yeah, but anyway, I saved his life. He was on the 45th floor. We took him down because if we didn't, he would have just stayed up there. No, sorry. The more of the story is not that. The more of the story. It's, um, I met him when I was like super young, so I guess this is before I got like lip injections and stuff like that. And he took off my mask to say hi to him. He looks at my lips and he's like, what the fuck happened to your face? He's like out to get her. He called her fat. He called me fat recently too. Which means he called me obese. No, but it was so funny. He was like, what the fuck? He's like, did you get more lip filler and straight? I'm like, no, I just overline. I do overline my lips a lot now like this. Mm -hmm. So he was just like shocked, and the thing is, I met him up like up like six weeks ago. Six weeks ago, so I know that like he's seen my face like through fillers and stuff. But he was just he's just shocked. He was like, oh my god, he's like, what did you do? He's like, you were so skinny, so pretty before. Like he was in a he's like, like what movie. happened to you? And I was like, <laughs> and the entire night I was like, like this all night I was like, <laughs> was literally, like, oh. the guy said that to me. I think I would have just smacked him upside the head. <laughs> No, but he's like actually really nice. He's like, oh my, I don't know. He's, I don't know. He's been good to me before. Well, I guess when I was skinnier or whatever. But I was gonna pick up like, hello? No, but I'm with Megan. I don't know if you remember her. But basically, like, um, we're like hanging out. And then she told me the story about- Oh my god, you're gonna tell no, me? No, no, no. She told me the story about you. It's fine. It, it, like, honestly, we ended on good terms. Like, I still, you're still my first love and everything. So it's fine. Like, it's just like, no, like, just no problems to it, you know? Do you think we ended on good terms? I don't know. <laughs> Wait, did you guys not? That's what you think. <laughs> I just okay. remember when- We ended on bad terms, but definitely the only reason we broke up was because I liked you. We finished our look. Um, it didn't turn out bad at all, obviously. Please subscribe to me for more of this chaotic bullshit content. Chaotic drug uh, gossip bullshit. Yes, I'm here for it. Our food is here, so we need to eat because um, we're fucking hungry now. But Drunk mukbang? <laughs> <laughs> no, fuck you. All right, the lashes really pull the look together, you know? Yes. 
hope you guys enjoyed our video. We're gonna probably show you guys the food in a bit, but in case I forget to do that, well, thanks you guys for watching. If you guys want me more videos with me and Megan, please let me know. Like, I'm trying to do more like lit content like this. And then I can go out meet more chaotic guys, so I have stories for you guys. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, that's it for us. We'll talk to you guys later. Subscribe to our channel. You. I'll link Megan's social media stuff down below in the comments area. And obviously mine will be there too. So yeah, I love you guys so much. Bye.